Okay, so I've got this little gadget I bought. It's uh, called a Cardia Mobile by AliveCore. I saw it on I saw it on the news. I was using it in uh, like uh, hospitals and so forth to do like a um, bit of screening for um, Cardia. Well, it's like it's like a it's a portable ECG basically. And um, what you do is you put it on your phone, like I've just got, well you can use it separately, but you can put it on the back of your phone like I've got here. And you put your fingers on it, your two fingers, and it actually uh, records an ECG. So let's have a look. I'll, I'll, I'll do it live. Let's get the screen up. So I'll go this way. Oop. Come on, go that way. Flip. Ah, what's it doing now? So there's the, there's the, uh, the screen. Uh, record your ECG. And to flip over. It's not going. Oh, here we go. There we go. So you touch the electrodes to start recording, and I'll do that now. And it's initializing. Here we go. So it takes a few seconds to uh, stabilize, and it takes 30 seconds to record the full ECG. It's pretty cool. Oh, it's a bit high. That's right. I'll try and be silent because apparently if you move too much it affects it as well. Oh. Processing. Still got eight seconds to go. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, I might try this again. Uh, electrical interference detected. Uh, it's probably too close to my microphone. Let's try it again. Record again. Let's do it again. Here we go. I'll try and keep away from everything. Let's move it back a bit. Oh, oh come on. There we go. No. There we go. Works better on a desk usually. Usually I take it off my phone and put it on the desk. There we go. Oh, it's coming up normal. And it says, this, Jonathan, is this you? And I'll put yes. And uh, you can actually flick through it here. The actual ECG. This one's not, not a great recording, but uh, yeah, it's settled down there. But uh, yeah, usually I'll take it off the um, back of the phone, put it on the desk. It works a lot better. Uh, but most of the time it does work on the phone as well. So there we go. It's a cool little device. Uh, re totally recommend it. It's only like it's only like a hundred dollars, I think. It's a little little thing. And it's, you know, as you can see, it just fits on the back of your phone there, in a little case, and you can actually take it off. Uh, slide it off here, and it's like that. And you put your fingers like that on the desk. Put it on the desk like so. You got like that, and that, that's that's how it usually works best. But yeah, I totally recommend it. Um, so also got a, uh, they do a six lead one as well, which you have your fingers on there and you can put the, uh, there's another little sensor and you put that on your, uh, on your knee apparently. And that creates like a circuit and you can get like a six lead ECG. And it's very accurate. Um, uh, I've looked at reviews, this, I've looked right into it before I got it. And you know, cardiologists recommended it. They, they, um, uh, you can actually start up an account and link it to your cardiologist and then they can look into it for you as well so it's a lot it's a lot easier than uh, I think apparently they put like a vest on you for like seven days or something when they're trying to check your uh, if you've got uh, a fibrillation or any sort of heart condition so this is a lot a lot simpler simpler way to do it and uh, it's good fun take the parties um, see if any of your friends have got heart problems <laughs> but um, yeah, it's I quite like it because my dad my dad had a heart murmur, so I sort of thought I'll get it just in case it runs in the family, uh, and I'll be able to find it, um, you know, pick it up quickly and get it treated if it ever ever occurs with me. But apparently, it's been pretty normal. I uh, haven't had any abnormal readings. Probably just one I showed you was not the best one, because <laughs> uh, but um, it does work really well. Let's put this back in there. There we go. 
Okay, guys, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I'll leave a link to where you can get this thing from. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just pick up gadgets as I go along in my life, and if I like them, I'll, I'll do a report on them in my YouTube channel. Okay, guys, cheers, see ya.